All right, it is September 3rd of 2019, and we've got the new version 7.5, right? The Ferrari update, or fantastic Ferrari update, as they call it, as we've got five new Ferraris in the game, as you can see here. The 250 GTO, 36 Modena, 500 TRC, F40 LM, and F8 Tributo. All red. Actually, not all of them will turn out red in your garage, but, uh, well, maybe they will. So, we've got a track day event featuring the new 2019 Ferrari F8 Tributo. So that is going to be most likely four stage track day event. So it's sort of that combination of special event plus the limited time series. You have quite a range of window to initiate that four day countdown. Um, basically you can start um, almost the entirety of September. Usually it's like four days before the next update rolls out is when the last day to initiate the event so yeah um once we get started i'll have a better idea of what's going on with this since fire monkeys have not uh posted anything on their website about the new version so um we'll yeah talk more about the pr requirement and so on in the event overview video but for now let's move on we got the new motorsport series so yes we got two new cars gonna be in two new uh, endurance gt section of the motorsports section so we got 1962 season and 1989 season so um that's pretty cool I suppose and of course those are all limited time series cars let's see um, yeah <laughs> and do we have yes we've got Aventador uh, Lamborghini as one of the older cars to be won through limited time series I'm trying to remember is Aventador a gold purchase car um, it could be, or it might be a racing dollar car, which would put an interesting spin on this limited time series. Um, let's see, you know what? I'm gonna look that up right now. Uh, I guess we can look it up after, um, go to the car purchase section on, and we can look at it. Anyway. And we got two new exclusive series featuring um, 911 GT2 RS Club Sport that uh, we just won in the last version track day event. And uh, McLaren 650S GT3, a wonderful, wonderful uh, McLaren that I want to say that car is one of those surprising catch that is not a gold purchase car although if you want to participate in exclusive series that means you have to have it uh, fully upgraded which means uh, it's gonna cost you a bit of gold <laughs> so anyway all right so simple enough let's check out the new cars and that is today's uh daily reward 20 percent oh yeah uh 20 percent fame extra fame and then we got the shadow project mclaren time trial at uh circuit of the americas grand prix so that's cool um and then we've got a uh, 30 percent discount on bugatti Chiron or Chiron depending on where you are um, and I already own this car this car was a limited time series car wasn't it uh, well 
let's download all assets. I'm on Wi-Fi, so it should be pretty quick. I certainly hope so. All right. Almost there we go. That is for the... Oh, that's for McLaren, isn't it? No, I want to just check out the new car and it looks like we've got a new uh, episode of Real Racing TV. Okay, we you guys can check it out on your own. Boy, a lot has happened, hasn't it? Oh, I don't get to see the new car. Never mind. Um, let's go into the new car section then. Fine. They usually have a little tab for new cars. They're all going to be in Ferrari, I suppose, right? Yeah, but before that, the Ventador. Uh, do I already own it? Is if I own it already. Uh, it's not going to show me. I want to say this car was not a gold purchase. You know what? Let's look it up. computer machine what is the cost of Lamborghini Aventador it is 597,700 racing dollars so this car limited time series is going to be interesting because the car you can purchase with the racing dollars um yeah obviously you don't have to win this car through limited time series then I would say especially if they have a PR requirement that is higher than um, something that needs gold you know what I mean so all right let's check out the new Ferraris first and F40 just plain F40 ain't one of the new ones um, you can see the little blue circles in the list here those are the new ones so let's continue on to we've arrived on there we go first new one uh, 360 Modena PR is 28.5 that's a base PR so it's gonna be a featured in one of the earlier part of your career does it tell you? Um, no, it doesn't tell you. Never mind. All right. So that's one of the first ones. And 250 GTO. Um, and this one has PR 16.1. And I'm trying to remember. Is this one of the cars in the... What do you call it? The motorsports. I think it might be, right? We'll check the series in a little bit. And this is an older car. And F40 LM, of course, is uh, one of the motorsports cars. You can see PR is a bit higher, 63.3. It's got to be the 1989 Endurance GT season. All right, and there's, is that the last one? Did we cover all five? I feel like we covered only four. F8 Tributo. All right. That is, this is the, what do you call it? The track day car, right? PR 50, 55.6. All right. What did I miss? Uh, Modena. Ah, this is a new one. 500 TRC. PR 4.0. Right. And there's another discount on 
uh, this time uh, Aston Martin Vantage GT, the 2017 rendition. All right, so that's a better balanced version of the two GTEs we have in the game. But anyway, let's see. Um, hop into the motorsports section. Endurance GT. And if we go to the final bit, yep, we got the 250 GTO in 1962 season, which is locked. I'm sure once we win this car, it will be unlocked. And then 1989 season, yes, the Ferrari F40 LM. And that one you unlock by, I suppose, um, making some progress in 1998 season, yes. So I need 29 more trophies in that season. So depending on your progress, you might already have it un unlocked. All right, so those are the two new motorsports events or series. And let's see, we had some low tier cars, low PR cars. Let's see if we find them in these earlier part of the career. Um, nothing in Pro M, but how about Pro section? Come on, there's a new one. Vintage Track Classics, and that's gonna feature the 500 TRC. And you reach that by uh, 30 or more, or 30 more trophies in American Classic Muscles. Where is that? That's the last main career series in the pro section so if you are playing normal unlike myself here <laughs> who has absolute no regard for the career progress as you can see uh, yes well if you win the card this bonus series unlocks so all right that's a third new series two motorsports series and a bonus series in pro section. All right, do we have anything new in expert section? Let's find out. It's gonna be at the end, most likely. Ah, sports coupe challenge um, with Ferrari 360 Modena. So that is a new series. All right, that features uh, Honda NSXR and Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8 from 1995. All right, so that's a couple of low PR uh, bonus series. And then let's see, do we have, what are we missing? I feel like that's four. So we have five new cars. So we got one more bonus series we should have um, somewhere. Nothing in Master. How about Elite? Do we have anything in Elite section? Um, I'd assume there's got to be one in Elite section. Let's go. Yes. FA Tributo. Trek Power Trio, which also features a Hurricane, a Lambo, and Jaguar XESV Project 8. So, all right, that is, that has to be the last of the um, new bonus series because um, that covers five cars for five series, unless we have any of these cars featured in multiple bonus series, which I doubt. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we got a couple of exclusive series. Let's see. What were the cars? This one, McLaren 650 S GT3. We can check in and actually find out what the total reward's going to be for this series. So let's do just that. The King of Mount Panorama. 20-tier series with 
Let's see, 250 gold to be one. Not bad. Gotta love these exclusive series, man. Decent payout on many of them. Of course, many of them do require you to spend a bit to upgrade fully. Some cars you do come across with net gain, but more higher end cars you um, have to spend quite a bit more to fully upgrade. So usually if you're running these to win gold, eh, not a good idea. There are better options. But it uh, these exclusive series do open up some uh, good farming possibilities. So that is one of the benefits of these. And payout is actually pretty good. Anyway, let's find that other uh, exclusive series. It was featuring... What was that? Um, it was a Porsche, wasn't it? This guy. GT2. RS Club Sport, the new one. Yeah, so obviously a uh, limited time series car, so uh, no exception there. 21 upgrades there. You can kind of tell cars with 21 upgrades are the ones that uh, I have won with the limited time series. But anyway, that does it for actually um, a couple of events that's already got started. So the Shadow Project Time Trial Competition, of course, featuring the new McLaren. Not new McLaren, why am I saying new McLaren? Um, it's got, yeah, the 600 LT, you know, the one, the Shadow Project car, right? At the Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix, and mine's fully upgraded, so uh, unfortunately, no zero upgrade playthrough video on this one. I, at least I don't have a plan for it. And then the other one is uh, Trek Day event. That is, of course, you know, you have a lot of time to initiate this one. Uh, most likely four day event or four stage event. And it looks like this is going to be all at Red Bull Ring. So, uh, next video probably is going to be dealing with that one. So, alright. And then, of course, they've added more events to event archives. Um, but other than that, yeah. So, there we go. Lots of Ferraris, as usual. Lots of limited time series. And it seems like Trek Day has almost officially replaced the special events. Uh, at least right now maybe special events will come back in the future but for now uh, it is what it is so all right so good luck it's available by the way new version 7.5 available on both ios and android so go download it um, jump in uh, win some gold and cars and race on. Okay.